So, welcome to my sketchy sniper hide. Yep. I said it before and I'll say it again. Life moves pretty fast. You don't stop and look around once in a while. You could miss it. Okay, what am I going over today? What do they call that? L R R P Lerp, yeah, Lerp, Lerp Larping. Long Range Recon Patrol. I think that's what that stands for. You'll notice, I mean, there's a couple of callbacks to some units from some wars. I'm sure you guys already kind of are pointing some stuff out. Anyway, I'm doing some shooting in my little, you know, my little hide site, OP, my little fire base. Not really. I just climbed up the side of this, this public range here and found myself a good little vantage point on the uh, downrange of the target. So, what am I wearing and why am I wearing it? I could get into the whole like SHTF, WROL, all those acronyms that mean various versions of your own apocalypse. I've been watching too much Risky Chris, clearly. Moving on. All right, let's get into the kit. What am I wearing today? Uh, mission Essential. Mission critical, mission enhancing. I feel like in each layer of the kit, you should have a certain set of necessities and then you add or subtract gear accordingly, right? So my first line, what I consider my first line, the bottom layer of my kit is gonna have everything I need to survive, to communicate and to fight. That's the way I look at it. Let's actually get into the specifics of what I'm wearing. Rifle is my 16 inch Stag Arms Upper with LPVO from SIG. I've made a rifle video before, so go check that out if you want to see more about that. Keeping 20 rounds in it, out here doing prone stuff. Let's go over my pack first. You see I have a helmet retainer. This I built myself, my own sewing machine. Um, it's a prototype right now, still trying to figure out how it works, but helmet gets stowed on the top, kind of like a beaver tail if you guys have seen that. Helmet is a combat vehicle crewman helmet with airsoft guts and arc rails from an airsoft helmet. Walker Razor Ear Pro with a defense distributor's boom mic, uh, slim boom mic. So that'll plug into a B5 systems, push to talk, and that'll go into your bail fan. Uh, that's how I route my comms. I also have a little helmet light. That's the helmet. I keep two mags on the outside of my assault pack just to plus up the amount of mags I'm carrying. I keep this water bottle on the outside here. What goes inside of that is mission dependent, right? So maybe I'm carrying camo to uh, give myself a little hide. Uh, I have some more water in like an ice plate kind of thing. Well, mission enhancing kit. That's what the third line's for. That's what the backpack's for. Moving on, the uh, web gear I'm wearing is a uh, Alice belt. This is an Alice triple mag, 30 round mag pouch. Most of these pouches have bungee around them. Uh, inside this pouch, I keep boo-boo kit, water tabs, a little bit of fire starter, um, just miscellaneous stuff. This is just like a survive in the woods pouch. Two Enola Gay smoke grenades on the outside here. Moving back, I have my big old fixed blade leather neck from Cold Steel. Big old fixed blade knife with a safety device that I rigged. Canteen pouch with canteen with water, obviously for drinking, drinking water. This butt pack, the philosophy behind that is to uh, keep most of what I need in the assault pack. And then as I move out to like a forward position, I put everything from the assault pack I might need into the butt pack. And that kind of lightens my load a little bit. Anyway, on from there, I keep a 40 millimeter pouch, 40 millimeter grenade pouch with two Enola Gay uh, smoke grenades. These aren't for like concealment, these are for communications. So you have a code with your team, this color smoke means this, this color smoke means this, and then that way you can communicate non-verbally uh, in the midst of whatever you're doing. Moving on, these are sound grenades. These are kept as early warning devices, like you could tie a fishing wire to the pin, set up a perimeter, 
and then you know who's coming because us as civilians can't own claymores. Two mags in a double mag pouch, uh, USGI. Like I got these for eight bucks on eBay, really easy. Easy to find, easy to acquire. And then I have another one just with a single mag and that's like a fast mag situation. Oh, that's the web gear. M1956 harness, that's what the harness is, the H harness, not the Y. I like the H. The chest rig is the Haley Strategic D3CR. I've made other videos with this. Uh, let's get right into it. These, again, another DIY project, scrim patches, I guess. Just Velcro on. That's what goes over these two pouches here. This is kind of a utility pouch. Compass. Marker. I would have a map. I'm not doing land nav. Tape. Chem lights. Logistical stuff. Uh, this other exterior pouch has a pack of Z4 gauze, ear pro, and my notebook. It's a tiny pouch, but it fits in some gauze, so I put it in there. Bottom here has a Feral Concepts Roll 1. More scrim on top of that. Uh, that's my main IFAC. These two little pistol mag pouches. I have a multi tool in one, and I have a flashlight in the other. Uh, sometimes I'll leave that there, but most of the time I'll zip that in because I don't always trust these pistol mag pouches. Behind that, obviously, I have three mags. That's my. That's my, those are my main fighting mags. Um, they're all fighting mags. I mean, you got bullets in them. Anyway, on the left side, I have my Beofang radio, and again, that B5 systems push to talk wired up on my shoulder strap here. And then that's my lead that I can click into with my headset. Tourniquet on the right side in a T-Rex arms tourniquet hole. So about then is when my camera died and I ended up having to switch to my phone. But uh, before we do that, I wanted to go over one extra bit and that's my fixed blade CRKT sting that I keep in the Velcro flap sitting behind the magazine. So this is what I would consider my fighting knife. This isn't a knife that I would be using to cut paracord or zip ties or anything like that. This is supposed to stay sharp. I wrapped the handle with paracord and then goon tape on top of that just to keep the, uh, just to give it a little extra grip. Anyway, that's the knife back out to the woods. So I'm finishing on my phone. Uh, the H harness, I have no clue who made it. So, sorry, you're gonna have to do some research. Yeah, the, uh, the garment I'm wearing is just a Repro Rothko Tiger Stripe top and Carhartts, black Carhartts. Shoes are Solomon Quest 4Ds. I got them at a wicked sale at REI. Rothko Booney. I have a paper clip retaining this little fold that's in the front. Uh, iPro is just some MSA. I got them at a hardware store. I don't even know what they're called, but really scratched up MSA shooting glasses. Anyway, that's my setup. Appreciate you guys showing up, and uh, we'll catch you in the next one. Last part, hit the subscribe button, leave me a comment if you have any questions, and like this video if you want to see more. I'm sure somebody knows the name of this range. Shut the fuck up. I know, yes. I'm in the Pacific Northwest. Stop asking what state I'm in. See what you people do. No. Just for per sec reasons. I don't like talking about it. I'm sure you can figure it out. You're all very smart. That's my target. I'm not gonna shoot it yet. Don't have air pro on. What else? Why? Why, I guess. Because it's fun. Because it's a uh, good exercise. Just kind of meditative I'm by myself. Not listening to music. Whew. Here we are, not hard. So, I guess 
third of this is filming equipment. 